Do you guys want to come in the kitchen? Is it live? Yeah, it's live. Oh, let's go, okay, let's go in the kitchen. Okay, wow, this is good television. Yeah, you guys really know what you're doing here. Here we go, into the kitchen. Okay, look at look at the wine, wow. We're gonna go with the this wine. reminds me of Goodfellas, when he go walks through the, the kitchen to Goodfellas. Check this out right here. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Wow. Go look at that. Championship jersey. Show how we do it here in Las Vegas. Okay. Look at that. Wow. That's the Golden Knights, right? The Golden Knights, yeah. Wow. Stanley Cup champs. Stanley Cup champions. And all of this wine. And it's a, it's a little cooler in here. It's a little cooler in here. This is our red wine cellar. It's a red wine cellar here. And now we're going to walk into the kitchen. Okay, we're going to go into the kitchen. Well, let's fall. Let's okay. check out the chef's table. Okay, this is where the important people eat. Yeah. Take a peek. And if you have a private party, you come here, and it's probably yeah. uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay, America. Hey, when I ask you to do the table, do it from fucking A to Z. Wow. I've never been in a kitchen like this in my entire life. This is where all the magic happens. Okay. Over here. Salad station, come on, come on. Look at how incredibly clean this is, too. It's like spotless. Look at this, Grandma, Grandma Richie's Italian egg biscuits. Oh my goodness. Like we do a Christmas night, you gotta try one of those. You guys will never see anything like this. This is Grandma Richie? Grandma Richie. Right Grandma here. Richie's. Wow. <laughs> we bought the egg biscuits. We only do them at Christmas time. But at the end of dinner, everybody gets one. It smells so good in here. You have no idea how good it smells. I can't even explain to you. It smells like it's the best meat you've ever smelt in your entire life. Check it out. We're going to dry meat locker now. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my. Get that, get that on fire. Wow, look at that. It smells like the best Christmas you've ever smelt in your entire life. Look at that. Then you put wow. Right down here. See it? Wow. This is such an impressive I'm operation. Cool. Hold on. Oh my goodness. All right, I'll warm up a little bit. All right, come on, wow. let's go this way. It smells so good in here. Here's our prep kitchen right here. Wow. Check it out. If you don't come here for dinner, you're, you're being very silly. Look at how clean everything. It's spotless. It's like a museum in here. Here's my fish cooler. Wow, how do you keep it so perfect? You must have to it's, really it's, crack some of your whip, huh? Nah, uh, everybody's good. You know, wow. Everybody's trained perfectly. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go take a look. Do you guys see how perfect everything is here? Let's check out the meat locker. Okay. Go this way. That's where we do all of our steaming and baking and all of our production, you know? It's just a kitchen, but I've been in kitchens. I've never seen a kitchen like this. How many guests in the kitchen? Look at how look at how clean it is. Look at how perfect everything is. Into the meat locker. Dry, wow. This is a dry age holding room. Not a dry age room, it's a dry age holding room. All of my meats uh, dry aged in Vernon, California. West Coast Prime does it for me. I've been with them for over 20 years. Uh, and then we have some New York sirloins. This is not dry aged. This is, this is Mishima Reserve Tomahawks. We have dry aged ribeyes and I also. How much does something like this cost? This this particular piece right here. Piece what like, would you pay for something like this? This whole piece? Yeah. Well, I bet that's a thousand dollars. Am I right? Me, that's about. Uh, about 600 bucks. This is a $600 piece of meat. Look at that. Six to and it's dry aged before it comes here. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. And then you just yeah. hold it here because it's already been dry aged. So this will all be gone in three days. This will all be this will all be out in three days. Himalayan sea salt absorbs all the moisture in the in the room here. You see it's, it's a cold dry. Yeah, it's right? very, very cold. cold yes, dry. yes. And then my baker has uh, for tomorrow, this wow. will all be proofed in the morning and baked off tomorrow. We do all of our own breads here. We make all of our own pastries and desserts. These are the cinnamon buns. These are out of these. Oh are my God, that's I mean, unbelievable. Off the charts, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> you didn't think you were going to see this, huh? No. What is a 40 ounce tomahawk cost? So, uh, a 40 ounce tomahawk is uh, roughly $329. This is a 329 but, but it's Mishima Reserve. It's American Wagyu. Okay. It's, it's not a regular prime tomahawk. It's right, American right. Wagyu from Seattle, Washington. <laughs> right? It smells great in there too. It's everything's so fresh smelling. Look at this place. And then it's back into the warmth. 
Wow, they have so many people working here. Taste a little focaccia. Taste that. Hey, let's share it. How's okay, that? Okay, all right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my God. Everybody gets some warm focaccia. It's so good. It's good if you ever see here. It's coming right out of here. It's nice and hot. You place right in the bread basket. It tastes like the best pizza I've ever had in my How entire good is life. That? It's, it's incredible. Well, the bread was incredible. Yeah. Just amazing. Okay. Okay. This is where we keep our secret stash. Pine raspberry thumbprints, and then we've got this. <laughs> Try one of them. Wow. This is a chocolate chip cookie? Oh, my God. Got to try one of them, too. Oh, so good. Another cup of coffee? Unbelievable. This is our salad station. Doing a little prep, prep work right now. I'm like Ray Liotta at Goodfellas. Yeah, you're great. Excuse me. We can make our little uh, lavash crackers. Taste that. Taste how good that is. Tell me that's not the best lavash cracker you ever had. Wow. That's so good. It's good, right? How do you make something like that? It's like a masa almost. You have to have a very good pasta machine to roll the dough out. Okay. It's a really thin, good recipe with flavor. <laughs> A lot of things here. Taste, taste this Caesar salad crouton. I'm, I'm gonna get Caesar salad crouton. Caesar salad. Wow. That is so good. Crispy shallots with a top of the salad. Oh. I mean, there's just so many flavors going on here. So many, so many textures. And then over here. <laughs> these, guys, these guys never get a lot of credit, but these are the guys that make it happen in the dish room here. They are the guys. Wow. They are the main guys. That make Where are you it. guys from? Mexico. 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 You know Jose the Taco guy? You know Jose the Taco guy? Jose the Taco guy? Yeah. He's got it. You know him, right? He's got it. Jose the Taco guy. He's my business partner, Jose the Taco guy. Say hello to Jose the Taco guy. Jose the Taco guy. <laughs> wow oh my god look at that and those are the most those are the biggest lobster tails i've ever seen in my entire life are those are those actual lobsters yeah and what do those start out at? Like seven, eight pound lobsters? That's just a tail. You're right. right. That's, that's, so that's about a three pound. They're probably about seven pound lobsters. They're seven pound lobsters. Yeah. And you get the tail off of it. That's where all the meat is. No meat wow. Sixty. Seven pound lobsters going out. The tails, just the tails. Coming out, coming out below. The decadence. Wow. This place is, this place has got it. I mean, I don't know what to say. Incredible. Thank you.